Good morning and welcome to our daily Advent devotion for December the 6th, 2022. We're going to read from the book of Romans today, Romans 15, 14 to 21. I myself feel confident about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to instruct one another. Nevertheless, on some points I have written to you rather boldly, by way of reminder, because of the grace given me by God to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in the priestly service of the gospel of God, so that the offering of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast of my work for God, for I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me to win obedience from the Gentiles by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and as far around as Elyclium, I have fully proclaimed the good news of Christ. Thus I make it my ambition to proclaim the good news, not where Jesus has already been named, so that I do not build on someone else's foundation, but, as it is written, those who have never been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. There's a large portion of the New Testament that is dedicated to moving the words about Jesus, the story of God, of God's love for all humanity, moving it from a very small group of people, the Jews in Jerusalem, and taking it outward in these ever-widening circles into other places, into other counties and provinces, into other cities. And the Letters of Paul are great examples of this work of broadening, of widening. And I think that's an important thing for us to hear about, especially in the Advent season. Lots of us, lots of people who have never been to church before, know about Christmas. Many of them know about the nativity story. They've heard little bits about Jesus. But if they've never been in church before, they might not really know. They might know bits and pieces of the story. And so Paul's letter to the Romans today is a letter to us as well. A reminder that it's on us, you and I, to share the good news of Christ. And perhaps Advent is the perfect time to do it. I'm not sure what that might look like for you, but this is an invitation for us to engage in conversations about God, about our allegiance to Jesus, about the love of God and the mercy and the grace that God showed to all humanity. Jesus is the key. And Christmas is the time we talk about his birth. I wonder if maybe this Advent might be the time that you share a little more broadly and a little more bravely than you have in the past. So that's my invitation to you. Talk about Jesus with somebody who you don't really have that connection or that relationship. Or maybe just ask them if they go to church or if they have heard the stories of Jesus. It's an uncomfortable and a complicated thing to do. But Paul was pretty clear in his invitation, both in what he was doing, in his invitation in the letter to the Romans, and those words ring true in our lives today. Let us pray. Jesus, we want to share your message, the message of goodness for all people, of God's love and redemptive caring, of turning over the oppressive and unjust regimes, of a faith that deepens and draws us closer to you and your dream for us and for all humanity. We can work on that in ourselves, but you also invite us to share the good news with the people around us. Give us the strength and courage to do that somehow, somewhere this year. To invite somebody else, maybe to 
come with us to church, or perhaps just share videos that mean something to us with others that we think need to hear it. Give us that courage. Amen. Thank you again for joining me this morning. It's such a blessing that we get to do this together. If you've missed any of the previous daily devotions, you can click over there. There's a playlist of all of them. And you can also click over there and you can subscribe. And then YouTube will let you know tomorrow morning when I upload the next one. I love you all. Bye for now.